it's Father's Day. And uh, so far, so far, not so good. I already figured out yesterday that it was gonna be a bad day. We might have a problem. Uh, here's the way that about. Small problem. Hey, we've got a problem here. Might be a big problem. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. I'll get up this morning. And uh, instead of getting up at my regular time, I mean, I got up, but I didn't get up. You know, I got up and went right back to sleep. But um, five o'clock rolls around, so I, I get up at five o'clock. So yesterday, I got here at the shipper after a 342 mile run on empty. I get to the shipper. As I get to the shipper, I roll up in the drive and I look in the, I look on the side. Usually when I look on the side to see if they have any loaded trailers, loaded trailers, and you know that it's loaded because you know you they're, they're right along the fence line. So as I'm rolling down the drive, looking along the fence line, I'm like, hmm, there's no loaded trailers. I'm like, okay, all right. Maybe I might get lucky. And wonder why I say that is because I had three hours and 54 minutes left on the clock to drive. That would have been plenty of time to get down here to the receiver, to drop the load, grab an empty, head back up to the shipper and be set for today. That's not happening. Notice that it was no loaded there. I'm sorry, no empties. And I had I had a preload that turned into a live load. You have five hours and 32 minutes of remaining drive time. Which kind of pisses me off because I had three hours. Wow. That was too noisy back there. But it pisses me off because I had three hours to get this load here. And enough time to get here, shut down, grab it empty, make it back over to Champagne for the next load that I'm pre-planned on. That looks good. Let's go ahead and drop it right quick. So now I am on my way to pick up the next load, but I already killed two hours that I initially could have saved. Technical difficulties. Always. There we go. There we go. Woo. Always make sure your landing gear is down before you take off. But today, being an effed up day as far as what I need to do. Now I got this other load right here that I'm about to go and pick up which is another two hours back to the shipper. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, we got a few shoulder empties over here and I, I was about to be, I was about to be pissed off even more. We gotta grab this empty, head back over the, head back over the champagne and get set for another load. Now I'm kind of hoping, which I doubt, that it'll be ready, that it'll be ready, but unfortunately it's not. Once I get this empty over there, it's gonna be another live load. And that's gonna take another two plus hours. They usually don't load it like right away. Once I drop it in the door, it's usually going to take about two, three hours, at least, minimum. Now, I got maybe two hours to spare on my 14, maybe an hour and a half 
to spare on my 14. Guys, stay hydrated. <sighs> and that's me pure. Damn good water. It's crazy. It's crazy that she said that they haven't had no trailers since Thursday. Thursday, two days ago. See, coming here, coming here messed up my time last week and messed it up my time week before that. Am I getting a little peeve about it? No, not exactly because like I said, I, I got my detention pay. But, but, I'm not out here to sit and wait. I'm out here to move and make money. So actually all of my hours, it's not looking good. <laughs> I got, I got eight hours to drive, which two of those hours is about to be killed. I got nine hours and 14 hours on duty time and 14 hours on my 70. Another two hours over to the shipper. Probably a two hours to get loaded. Like I said, it's going to take at least two hours, three hours. And I got like maybe an hour of kill time before it actually starts ticking down on my clock. That'll be, once they get finished loading, then I will have to make it back over here and then grab another empty and then from here well not even grab the empty because where my next pre-plan is it don't use reefer trailers so I can like bobtail straight over there all right I got to get out and let him look inside very quick <laughs> Alright, so went outside, let the guard check out the trailer, and uh, now I'm released. Now I'm about to head back over to the shipper and uh, and get this puppy loaded. So, uh, that's my father's day today, y'all. You guys, all the dads out there, all the all the truckers that's uh that's fathers do your damn thing for your kid i am a father to my son there ain't no doubt about that my son got the best dad in the world and that's not just the saying on a t-shirt my father unfortunately my father passed but I still wish him a happy Father's Day because if it wasn't for him, you guys would not have lockout me. So, thanks dad, happy Father's Day. And to all the truckers out there, y'all, y'all have a happy and blessed Father's Day. Enjoy your day with your kids if you can. I mean, if you're driving, you know, make sure you, you call them and, uh, you know, talk to them. Not just today, but you talk to them every day. And, um, and if you're not driving, make sure you spend time with them. Kids needs their fathers and mothers. I'm not gonna leave you ladies out. I'm not gonna leave you ladies out, but I'm not gonna say happy Father's Day to you though. Fuck that. Nah, you had your day already. So, and trust me, that, 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 that old BS saying that, that, that you ladies love to say so much, 
Oh, I'm, I'm the mother and the father. No, you're not. You're the mother. It's unfortunately that the father skeeted on your ass. And I am so sorry about that. And this is to the fathers that have done that. You guys is really fucking up. Y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up y'all relationship with y'all kids. Now you see now, you done fucked up things, I think. I see what I'm saying. I, no, I, I thought... No, so, you know what I'm saying? You done I, fucked up now, you know that, don't you? I, yeah, I'm I, you know you done fucked up, don't you? I, you know it, don't you? When your kids get older, and for some odd reason they get successful and all like that, now you want to come back into their lives like nothing never happened. Oh, well, I want to be, I, I want to be in your lives now. No, nah, why? Because they making money, they successful, they doing the damn thing. Where, where were you? You know, 18 years, 16 years or whatever. Where were you? You was nowhere to be found. You know, the, the mother always had to get into an argument with you and, you know, for you to buy some diapers, some Similac, whatever, some clothes. But you didn't want to be a part of that kid's life for whatever reason. You guys, you guys want to come back into your kid's lives for whatever reason, you know. But y'all missed out on that. Y'all missed out on that. To you guys, I, I don't have no... I don't have no love for you. I don't have no love for you guys. You the, you're the ones that 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 fucked it up, fucked it up for the chick guys, you know. And to the mothers that's that's taking care of their kids, make sure you do that. Don't be don't be that mother that goes out and and try to try to get another guy to come into your life so he can take care of you and your kid. That's not cool either, ladies. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool at all. Well, you, you gotta take us as a package deal. You, you not only gotta love me, but you gotta love my kid too. Now, if the love for the, if the love for the woman is genuine, then of course, automatically, the dude gonna have some feelings for your kid. You know? But don't give the dude an ultimatum right off the rip. Y'all don't even know each other like that. Y'all coming, he coming in trying to get to know you and all of a sudden you like, oh well, my kid needs diapers, Similac, milk, clothes. The dude's sitting there like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to get to know you. I, I understand that's, you know, that, that, that's, that's gonna come later. Besides, you don't want to introduce your kids to like 50 million dudes. You don't want to do that. You want to you want to introduce the kid to the dude that you know and he knows that he's going to be the one. Now, if he's not going to be the one, then don't introduce him. Don't even mention the kids. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to badger you ladies or nothing like that. You know, I'm not trying to say nothing ill towards you about your kids and all like that. Because 99% of the females that's out here that's single does have kids. Alright? The other 5% is a slim few that don't. See, okay, that, that's, that's, that's for another video. This this is for this this is for us fathers today. So fathers, be a father, be a dad, be a father, be a trooper, be, be a role model to your kids. Be that guy to your kids, no matter what. All right, all right. So I hope you guys enjoy this video.
out to all my new subscribers that, that just recently came on the channel. Shout out to you guys. I really do appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and uh, peeping me out every so often. Uh, what I want you guys to do though, I want you to share the video. You know what I'm saying? Share the video to as many people as you like. You know, get them, get them to know me a little bit better. Another, another thing I want to say is shout out to all the new Swoogle drivers that just came in from my referral. Shout out to my girl Z, which she will be starting tomorrow. Shout out to my man Sandman, which he'll be making his epic return to uh, Swoogle. Shout out to my man Rodney. He'll be coming on to Swoogle on the 25th. And shout out to, I can't remember your name, man, but shout out to you uh, that will be coming in tomorrow as well. Swoogle is doing big things. Big things. If you're interested in Swoogle, man, come on and holler at your boy. We're starting new drivers off. Experienced drivers. I should change that. We're starting experienced drivers off at 40 cents. Uh, with the safety bonus, you get an extra two cent. We start you off at 42 cent a mile. You have opportunities for regionals that'll get you home every week. You have, um, we have this one regional that just opened up that my man Sandman is taking. And to my understanding, it is 55 cent a mile. It's a triangle run from Minnesota to California, from California to Georgia, and then back up to Minnesota. Good miles and good money. 2,800 miles already nets you 60, I mean $1,600. So give me a holler if you're interested in JNR Swoogle, man. And to JNR Swoogle, I wanna thank you guys for giving your boy the opportunity to, to rock out with you. I wanna thank my fleet manager for, for just being an awesome fleet manager. I mean, I, I, I honestly, honestly, honestly can't tell you guys how much I appreciate my fleet manager for everything that he has done for me. Shout out to my man, Jonathan, over at, uh, over at the Columbus Terminal. He's the orientation. Shout out to the new orientation guy up in uh, up in New Orleans. And last but not least, shout out to my girl Katie. Yes, that is my girl. She's the recruiter. She's the one that you guys are gonna talk to. She's the one that's gonna get you on. So if you wanna meet her, gotta get through me. I mean, you can go over me if you want, but got to get through me if you want to meet her. JNR Swoogle Trucking is, uh, and I'm not going to say it's the best trucking company out here, all right? Because all trucking companies have their problems, their ups, their downs. You just got to make it your experience to see if you like it or not. I like it. Come and check it out. Come and check us out. JNR Swoogle Trucking. Little trucking company up in Minnesota. I'm just saying. And oh, yeah, I got to say shout out to my man Don up in safety. I know you're probably going to see this video. Uh, shout out to you too, sir. And thank you for everything you have done for me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to have to come in and get the camera fits, though, because it keeps falling. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, but definitely leave the comments because that's how I talk to you guys. And... For the hat giveaway, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, uh, share the video. Well, I, I'm saying it backwards, my fault. So, first thing I want you to do is, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the video on whatever platform, Facebook, excuse me, Facebook. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, 
wherever you decide to share it at, let me know. And make sure you comment about it in the comment section to let me know where you know where you did it. Um, shoot me an email, lockoutmen at gmail.com. A uh, screenshot or whatever to let me know that you did it. You know, to be honest. Not to say that you guys ain't honest. I'm, I'm just saying. You know, just to be honest. Just, to, you know. And then, what I'll do is uh, pick out probably at the end of next month, something like that. Uh, I'll pick out the winner and you will receive a hat from it. Alright, that's it. That's all. I'm done. Take it easy. Y'all stay safe out there. And again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there.